This is the Air Boss, made by Red Ox in Montana. You can see uh, several review videos of this on YouTube. Uh, I spent probably about a month and a half trying to figure out a good carry-on piece of luggage that could get me uh, on vacation and with one bag. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it. It has the great zippers that are sturdy. It's made out of the ballistic nylon. It has the red interior. All the bags have the red interior. Uh, no matter the outside, I went with the blue. It has the compression straps. And what makes the Air Boss unique, as you see in the other reviews, is it has three separate sections. Uh, both outside sections are clones of, of one another. Uh, then, of course, there's your middle compartment uh, that holds uh, extra things. What I'm going to show you is how much you can actually pack in one of these. I'm going to use the bundle method. I have another video that will compare the bundle method versus the Eagle Creek packing cubes or packing envelopes um, because there seems to be a debate on YouTube which is the best. One uh, it says the, the, the envelopes say they save on space. The bundle says they uh, wrinkle your clothes less. Today I'm just going to do the bundle and I'm going to show you how it fits in here. I'm going to create two bundles. I'm going to create two bundles each with two pairs of pants and I let me count how many shirts I have here. One, two, three short, short sleeve shirts, one long sleeve shirt, and a blue dress shirt. Over here I've got two pairs of dress slacks and two pairs of Levi's. And don't forget when you travel you have the pants you're wearing, which is the pair of Levi's right now, and another uh, long sleeve shirt, plus the sport coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two bundles. I'm going to divide the pants and the shirts up evenly. Um, and then the jacket's going to go with uh, one of the bundles also. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. See you on the other side. pack them in the air boss and we'll see how much this awesome bag can handle. There you go. Two bundles, four pairs of pants, Two pairs of Levi's, two dress slacks, one dress shirt, two long sleeve shirts, three short sleeve shirts. And I still have my middle compartment, which I will fill now. So what I have left is the middle compartment to pack. I have a pair of dress shoes, each individually wrapped in plastic. I don't like to get my, you know, the bottom of my shoe on the inside of my nice bag. I have an Eagle Creek packing cube, underwear and socks. You get the right kind, they fold up, roll up nice, they all fit right in this little uh, compartment. Also, the Eagle Creek Wallaby. I used to have a lot of those leather shaving kits. This one seems to spread the stuff out more evenly so I get a more streamlined fit. And I have a belt. So, dress shoes, belt, unmentionables, Wallaby. And of course, I have the shoes on my feet, which are not quite as dressy as these. These are for kind of going out. And the belt that I'm wearing. Again. First it goes in. Underwear and socks. Wall will be in the middle. I got a shoe on either side. And I can just put the belt on top. Actually, if I've been thinking about it, the belt could have gone on one of the bundles, but it can go right on top. I still have a little room here on top. Uh, I can My TSA-approved bag of fluids can go right here. I can pull it out. I don't have that to show you, but you do see that there is room. And we zip that up. And I'm ready to travel. Is the bag heavy? Nope. 
put it right up my shoulder. I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching.